Hey, welcome back to Total Access Gaming. This is Chris. We're playing Pokemon Scarlet, and today we're off for our third gym badge in the city of Lavincia. So we're going to head over that way now. I'm just hanging out with my guys in Los Platos. As one does, we're going to head over here to Lavincia. But wait, looks like there's some action outside of this Pokemon Center. Let's fly over there and let's check it out on our way to get our third gym badge. I do believe the gym leader's name is Iono and I think she's an electric Pokemon. Let's see what's happening right outside the door. Yep, we're here for some quick action. Let's go over and see what's taking place. All right, one star battle, not too bad. Let's jump into a quick terror raid. We're all set to go. And we're gonna start. Help has arrived. We got a full party. Let's see what we're dealing with. These are such fun, random, bigger battles in this game. I like it because it really breaks up the, uh, the normality. You got your millions of Pokemon everywhere that you run into. But these battles just seem special. All right, we're fighting a shelter. Let's send out the goat with the most with a Giga Drain. Energy Ball, this should do her. Except I hurt myself in my own confusion. That's okay. It's a team sport, and the other guys got him. Catch, don't catch, I don't need a shelter. But you know what I like? I like goodies. Lots of experience candy. That's one of the main reasons those battles are so fun to fight because you can walk away and specifically level up one of your Pokemon. And I don't know about you, there always seems to be one Pokemon that just levels up either so much slower or he's just weaker than the rest of the guys on your team and it's tough to get them going. So those battles are really fun. By the way, let me show you my current team. They're looking pretty good. And that's the map. I love when you hit wrong buttons in this game. I'm really good at it. All right, so we fought earlier with Skiddo and he is my grass Pokemon. Now this little fella was just a few inches tall, I think last video, but now he's done his first evolution and he's looking pretty good. Let's check out his summary. He's a dragon Pokemon and a ground Pokemon. I'm pretty proud of him. Those moves that he has are pretty powerful. Shadow Claw, Dragon Breath. I think he's going places. Arcanine is my powerhouse fire Pokemon. Quaxwell, of course. I got him in the first video and he's all grown up now. He's not at Evolution 3 yet, though. Magnemite. He's kind of turning into something really fun, but terrible hit points. Just terrible hit points. And then we have Gyarados, a pretty solid caboose on my team. All right, all right. We're going to head down this road. And boy, like I told you, it is just so hard not to run into so many Pokemon when you go somewhere. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. You got to go. We got a video to do. Awesome. I am not able to take on a Tad Bulb. Is that what it's called? Yes, it is. Giga Drain a Tad Bulb. Thank you, Skidoo. All right. Bye bye, little fella. 
All right. Let's put on our big boy pants here. And let's have those wheels not touch the ground as we go on our path to La Vincia, as one does. We are going in the right direction, right? Let's just confer the map. The answer is yes. Yes, we are. It's so hard not to see something shiny and go check it out. And in this game, there's a lot of things shiny. What is that? Is that an Arcanine? Ah, uh, only one way to find out. No, I don't think it is. Is that just a Growlithe? Yeah, level 24 Growlithe against my level 26 Skidoo. Unfortunately, that's a fire-based Pokemon. I'm running around with a grass-based Pokemon. Yeah, that's that. That's called a bad choice. Although, look at that damage. All right, we shattered its dreams. I'm gonna stick with and see if we can't do one quick energy ball to wrap up this whole situation. Oh, we got lucky. He didn't attack. He just got himself more powerful. That's okay. Have a seat, Growlithe. We obtained 2,200 League Points. That's awesome. All right. Let us run in the rain, and we're going to get there fast. We're going to do that dash. Here we go. Fajoo. Dashing with this guy is great. You go so fast, but it is very difficult to do a quick maneuver to avoid something. And there's so many Pokemon that are like a couple inches tall. They're usually not on the road, but man, you get in the grass, you get in the snow. Oh, they're tough to see. All right, we're here. Lavincia it is. Let's head over to the Pokemon Gym. There it is. Should I, should I, should I heal up Skidoo? The answer is yes. All right. Let's go and see what our little price of admission is to get in this place. Row to 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 to. Hey Maxwell, it's me, says Nimona, who's not here for once. How's the gym journey? Which one are you going for now? Seriously, I'm close by. Ha! <laughs> Hang on, I'll be right there. Of course. Hey, hey, there you are. Look at you with two gym badges already. Awesome. And this is the gym you chose to be number three, eh? Well, you're up to the challenge for sure, but just to be safe, you probably better have a pre-gym warm-up battle with me. Yeah, let's do it. That's the enthusiasm. Let's tussle. Come on, the field of battle awaits. All right, we haven't fought Nimona for a quick minute. And so it'd be fun to see just how more powerful we are and what she's running around with in terms of Pokemon. I mean, she is the Pokemon champion, so she's not going to be a joke. But of course, she's very toned down right now at this point in the game. I'm sure of it. Before you take on a gym, it's good to see if you can find the battle court in town and check it out. It helps to see where the court is and what it's made of. All right. Good advice. You know, Maxwell, one look at your face and it's obvious you're getting stronger. Yes, my cheek folks radiate with strength. It start, uh, it's time I started introducing you to some of my harder hitters. Ready? Yes. All right, we're going to find out a little bit more about Nimona's team. I like it. Let's have a fruitful battle. Boy, that is definitely her catchphrase. And she could go shopping probably for a new one. We're challenged by Nimona. She send out Rockruff. And we got the recently healed up Skidoo. 
Think of this as a practice run for your next gym battle. Come at me with everything you got, if you insist. Energy ball. Rock Ruff, down in one hit. Nice moves, your skills sure are ripening. We just destroyed you, Nimona. All right, let's see these heavy hitters you got. She's about to, ready to send out Pawmy. Let's switch up our Pokemon and let's send out mm -mm -mm, Magnemite with his whopping 52 hit points. All right, Magnemite. Let's get it. Pommy, level 21. I think a Steel Beam. No, let's do Spark. Let's do Spark. Never mind. You can't attack? What's not there? Let's see what Pommy's gonna do. Wow! Wow! Wow, did I underestimate Pommy? who just did 48 points of damage. Ha, huh, buddy. All right, Steel Beam. Yes, the big attack. Oh, no. Boy, this is a frustrating ability. All right, so Palmy is going to come right up underneath me. My Magnemite just fainted. He's done. All right, I'll tell you what. Bite, you're next. I want you to take one quick look at Pommy and put him where he belongs in the ground. Shadow Claw, let's do it. When there's an enemy to attack, of course, because there's none. All right, all right. Shadow Claw, this is it. Yes, critical hit. Maybe people who can throw Pokeballs better are better at landing critical hits, too. Pommy is done. Nimona is about to send out Crocolar. All right, that's her fire-based Pokemon. Let's not choose Skidoo, because that's the last thing we need is a grass-based Pokemon. Fire on fire would be fun, but Quaxwell? No, Gyarados, yes. How did this not become an obvious choice? Bring out your dr crocodile. I'll bring out my crazy awesome dragon fish. Don't pat yourself on the back yet. My next Pokemon's gonna turn the tables. All right, so her crocodile has evolved. So it might not be easy, but we're gonna do waterfall. It's definitely gonna be the weakness of this thing. Since you have a Terra Orb, we can both Terracellize our Pokemon fair and square. Okay. Alright, it's got that guy from Beauty and the Beast on its head. The one that sings all the time. But our ability wiped out Crocolar in one fell swoop. That's all she wrote. Nimona is done. All right, some good experience there. Yep, your skills are ripening quick. You got 1,320 Pokebucks, the price of admission. Man, you sure battle like someone with more than two gym badges. That was a great battle, fruitful for sure. Here, take these as thanks. I got three full heals. That's a good gift. I challenge you literally right now, but champions have to be understanding. I'll hang back, respect your time, and stalk you from a short distance. And Maxwell, I hope you get even stronger. Like way, way, way stronger. And once you do, we can just battle again. Time for you to whoop that gym test. Thanks for this. Hey, Nimona, it was all my pleasure. 
At least we know what she's starting to attack with. I'll tell you, that little fella that dug up from underneath the ground, he was no joke. I completely thought it was gonna be easy. And then 48 damage on Magnemite? This guy needs more hit points. Super bad. What's up, my man? Welcome to the LaVincia Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Maxwell. Yes, it is. In order to face gym leader Iono, you must pass the test. Here that means starring in one of Iono's streams. Oh boy, she's a streamer as well as a leader. So we want you to dazzle her audience with your skills and rack up those subscriptions. Okay, head outside, you'll soon see what needs to happen. Get out there, have fun. Wow, speaking of subscriptions, is this that moment where I ask you to subscribe for my video? No, I'm not gonna do that. Probably. All right, let's go see what being in one of Iono's live streams is all about. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Iono Zone. Hey, hey, hey. Your eyeballs are mine caught in the electroweb. Who's a what's it? Iono. I'm the gym leader here. Hello, hello, hola, xiao, and bonjour. Boy, I am not super of my languageado. The gym leader. Indeedly do. I kick it as gym leader when I'm not producing sweet content on the internet as an influencer to bring dreams to the masses. And I hope this doesn't come as much of a surprise, but you're being broadcasted live to the world right now. Smile. Anyways, Challenger, thanks for coming out to the gym to see me. Nod, nod, nod. I'm super happy you're here. I'm also a bit of a celeb, you know. I'm all kinds of busy. I can't collab with you unless I know you can bring in those sweet, sweet viewer num. I mean, Make sure you can bring in some real passion for my stream. Noi ho ho. <laughs> and if you want to battle me, you've got to help me make this live stream a viral hit. Got it? Yes. That's what my character's good at, I'm sure. I can tell you can't wait to get started. Well, then allow me to explain the plan. Come on out, Mr. Walksabout. Ah, it's Mr. Friendly with my mom. Oh, Maxwell, what a coincidence meeting you here. Say what? You guys know each other or something? This here dude has a real aura around him when he was walking down the street, so I snatched him up for my dealio here. You're too kind, ha ha ha. Anywho, Maxwell, since you're today's challenger, I want you to play hide and seek with Mr. Walks about here. Look for the good gentleman using the street surveillance cameras. Find them three times, and you can consider this gym test passed. You got it. We need a better name for this challenge, though. I'll call it, Where in LaVincia is Mr. Walkabout? You think the title's safe? There's nothing iffy about it or anything, right? Well, whatevs. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go. Get ready to hide, Mr. Walks About. All right, all right. I feel that I own, oh, the gym league for so many past favors. I'm more than happy to help. Bear with me as I do my best in my allocated role in my orange outfit. That won't stand out. Well, at least we have something to look for. All right, so we're looking like we're playing a Where's Waldo kind of game here. Maybe our dapper gentleman is ready. Hey, Mr. Walks about you good to go? Yes, I am, says Clavel. All right. He's hiding somewhere in this video. Feed, friend. Open those eyes wide like a magnemite with low life. And get to searching. Ready or not, here our challenger comes. Gym test. Find Mr. Walks about. Done. All right. We know what he looks like. 
There he is, sitting at the table, drinking a no coffee. Oh dear, it seems you found me. That is a yes. We found him. You're one cool kid. Well then, before we move on to the next round, let's make things a bit more interesting. Live battling with one of my friends. Get out here, you silly pokey maniac. All right. Wow, look at what he's wearing. Long live the Iono Zone. Oh my goodness, could you imagine wearing that sweater? Your hands would just bump into those heads. Ah, oh, that would drive me nuts. But boy, if you ever got invited to a wild Pokemon sweater party, like all those Christmas ones, that's the outfit to wear. All right, Luxio, I got one of you in one of my boxes. You're pretty awesome. Energy ball, here we go. That was good. And that was not. For the win, energy ball it is. Done. All right, we defeated Marty in his sweater and fanny pack. Win or lose, Iono Hype Squad forever. I got 3,080 Pokebucks, the price of admission for this live stream failure, and you win. Well done, challenger friendo. Time for a change of scenery. Round two of Where's the Waldo? Here we go. The next stage for my totally rad test. Everyone loves it. Mr. Walksabout is once again hiding in the feed. Find him quick. Oh man, can you imagine if this was on a timer? I mean, yes, this is a live video. And yes, the longer I take, the less exciting it is for you to watch. There's Luxio. Where's that guy with the sweater? Oh, there he is. He's healing people, playing the piano in the Pokemon Center. Yes, sir, re Bob. And here I thought I had blended into my surroundings quite well. Sorry about that, Mr. Clavel. All right, two down, one to go. Are we going to have a live battle entertainment break? Let's spice things up before moving it on to the next round. That's right, another live battle. Get out here, Poke Maniac pal. All right, what's this guy wearing? Uh, he literally just took the outfit the last one was wearing and put it on. Oh, look at the hat. I think this is definitely a dedicated Pokemon fan. All right. He's fighting with a fish, mysteriously flying in the air. Giga Drain. Nice. Sorry, Tynamo. Thunder Wave. All right, Skidoo is paralyzed, but I think we're in good shape. Energy Ball it is. All right, he's about to send out Flaffy. Will I switch my Pokemon? Yes. Mag... Uh, you didn't do so hot last time, buddy. Arcanine, it's your turn. Arcanine is like a no-nonsense Pokemon. Gets the job done. Just solid. Let's play rough and see what Flaffy thinks. All right, Crunch Munch. That's all she wrote. Flaffy fainted. Ooh, Arcanine leveled up. Magnemite leveled up. Magnemite wants to learn the move Magnet Rise. Let's check it out. 
Sounds pretty cool. Power zero, accuracy zero. This user levitates using electrically generated magnetism for five turns. Oh, let me think about the use of that. I'll tell you what, we're gonna replace Thundershock with Magnet Rise and we're gonna think, how does this ability best get used? All right, good deal. All right, Michael, you're done. Head out of here if you're outfit, but don't forget to pay. Yes, $3,080 of Pokebucks, the price of admission. And you win, well done, challenger friendo. There's no stopping you. Master of seeking and master of battle, and you're the real deal. Time for a change of the scenery. Round three of, wow, these guys are small. Last stage starts right here. The battle court. Can you find Mr. Walks about? Let's find out. Ready and go. All right, we're looking for an orange sweater. Oh boy, can these guys be any smaller? Is that him? White hair. No, that's a gray shirt. Uh, wait a minute. Is he just over here fishing? He's definitely hanging out in a boat with all his no friends. I hope you will find your treasure in your independent study with just as much ease. Thank you, Professor. My subscriber numbers are on the rise like a super fast electrocross crawling out of the ocean. I mean, congratulations on passing my gym test. You have people on the edge of their seats. All right, when you're ready, hit up my lobby staff and they're ready to collab with me. Lickety split. I'll be ready to go whenevs. Gym test passed. We found Mr. Walks about three times. Boy, I will tell you, reading the text from Iono, very challenging. All right, Magnemite, you went from 52 hit points to a whopping 53. Wow, oh boy. I'll tell you what, if there is a way in this game to boost hit points, Magnemite is in dire needs. I'll tell you what we're gonna do though. Two of my fellas are paralyzed and that's no way to start off a gym fight. So let's come back over to where Mr. Walksabout was and heal him up. Skidoo and the rest of your team are ready to go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The question is, who do we want to be our lead Pokemon in this fight with Iono? Skiddo did okay. Magnemite, well, I don't know. I think Quaxwell, question mark, water versus electricity. Gyarados, question mark. What about our lowest level fella, Gabite? Yeah, let's do that. Let's put him in the front. Make lead Pokemon. Done. All right. Our weakest yet. I think the guy with the most potential on our team is up to lead the charge. Let's go do this gym battle. I'm pretty excited to get that third badge. I suppose we're going to have to read more of her text as she talks. That's okay. But boy, oh boy, that's something. Aww, that little Volteon is sleepy. How cute. I'll tell you what, I love that they have toddler zones in these. I see Iono gave your performance a thumbs up. Amazing job, Maxwell. Well done on clearing the gym test. You now have earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Iono, the supercharged streamer? Yes. Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Whoa, finally, Iono. 
Your eyeballs are mine, caught in my electroweb. Who saw it? I don't know. Ciao and bonjour. Hello, hello, hola. Wow, she's got lots of fans, I'll tell you that. It's time for the Iono Zone, everyone. Man, that is a huge sweatshirt she's wearing. Those are kind of creepy teeth, too. All right, let's tussle. Today's challenger is flying high like a watch roll. It's Maxwell. Yay. <laughs> Too close. That was too close. How you feeling about this battle, Maxwell? Uh, I think like I can't lose. Hey, we've got a lively one here. You'd make a gnarly influencer, friendo. Who's ready to see me kick some butt? Finally, I'm ready. Electro King gave 5,000 Pokebucks as a gift to her channel. I like that. All right. Here we go, for the badge. Let's get this show on the road. How strong is our challenger? Let's find out together. Challenged by Gym Leader Iono. Sent out a Watchrel, and we got Dragon Power. Give me a battle that'll electrify my viewer pals. All right, we're going to battle. We're going to do a quick and easy Dragon Breath to kick things off. She's got four Pokemon. Let's go with Shadow Claw. All right, she went from four Pokemon to three. We're gonna keep our current Pokemon. It's a Luxio. Let's do a big bite. Luxio flinch, could not attack. I like that, Shadow Claw. All right, this battle's pretty fair, right down the middle. Dragon Breath. That's all she wrote. Two down, two to go. All right, Gabite is now level 27. Gyarados level 28. Gyarados wants to learn Rain Dance. Let's check it out. Let's pick a move to replace with it. All right, this, you, this summons a heavy rain that falls for five turns. Powering up water type attacks lowers fire type. Do I want to get rid of bite for rain dance? Ah, uh, you know, if we really are in a stitch where we need Quaxwell's powers enhanced, Gyarados's powers enhanced, that's probably the way to do it. So that's a yes. Bite, though. Boy, that was a great ability. I'll be sad to see that one go. Anyways, back to the fight. Iono is sending out Belly Boat. Let's keep our little dragon guy here. Goodbye. We're not changing anything here. That is a rotten-looking avocado. All right. That's a crazy-looking Pokemon. Bulldoze. Super effective. Let's go back to that Dragon Breath. It seems to do the most damage every time. Not this time. Eighteen life left. Shadow Claw. Four life left. I would like to keep this guy alive. 
so we can get some experience from these battles. Oh, Magnemite. I don't know if we want electricity versus electricity. Gyarados with 100 hit points? Or Quaxwell? Gyarados. Let's bring the rain. All right, his water base attacks are not gonna go so far here. Crunch. All right, she's down to one Pokemon left. It's gonna be an electric based one. Who's it gonna be? Miss Magius. Let's switch Pokemon. Let's bring out Skidoo. I believe this Pokemon is going to do okay. Let's go, Skidoo. Oh no, this isn't good, loyal friends. I need to hear you cheering. You give me all you got. That's a fun looking Pokemon. Kind of looks like that one gal from Teen Titans a little bit. I like it. I'll tell you what, when in Rome, Terrasalize, Energy Ball, let's bring the most we got. And she's doing the same. Skiddo is confused. Well, that's the last thing I need to do is keep hurting myself. Let's get something to cure that confusion. Whatever it might be. Awakening? No, 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 no. What cures confusion? Not you. Not you. Yes? No. Awakening? Ah! Full heal. It can cure any status condition. All right. It seems like a pretty good one to use in this situation. Wow. Skidoo is down to 31 life. Let's do Giga Drain. It does damage and heals me. That's what we need. Never mind. All right, there goes my first Pokemon and the chance to Terrestrialize. Arcanine? I choose you. Battle, flamethrower. Not bad. Confused again. Oh boy. Switching Pokemon. Quaxwell, I choose you. I'm not really feeling like going through all my full heals in one battle. Alright, it looks like Quaxle can probably take two more of those hits. Let's do Air Slash. Quaxle is confused.
All right. Did not do a lot of damage. Sure, I'm getting sick of being confused. I'll tell you that. Let's go to... I'm not sure about that. Gyarados? I choose you. Danger, high voltage. Sorry if it's too shocking, eh? Charge beam. Gyarados dodged it. That's what I'm talking about. Ice Fang. Oh. My. Goodness. Gyarados took a ton of damage from that battle. Ice Fang, let's see if she does something other than that last attack. Charge Beam, that's a no. Goodbye, Gyarados. Alright, so we got Quaxful, confused. We got Arcanine, confused. We got Gabite, with four life left. And then we got two dead Pokemon. I guess all eyes are on you, Magnemite. Let's show us what you're made out of. Man, we need you now more than ever, buddy. Battle, Steel Beam. This ought to do it. Sure hope so. Oh no, Magnemite is confused. Ah, oh, this can't be happening. Magnemite hurts itself. You know what? Steel Beam. Let's just keep fighting the good fight. Magnemite. Dead in one attack. Alright. Gabite with your four life left. Come on in. Let's hope you attack first. Dragon Breath for the win. Man, you do not always get what you want. All right, we got Quaxel and we got Arcanine. They're both confused. I'm gonna bring out Arcanine. Let's see if he can fight through his confusion to land one more good hit. Play rough for the win. Yes. Oh my goodness, Iona was frustrating. She was a tough opponent. I was flashy and as bright as a 10 million volt thunderbolt, friendo. 4,320 Pokebox? The price of admission for your live stream. Our challenger came up victorious. Well done, Maxwell. Whoa, you're both so strong. I hate to say it, but I lost. Thanks for cheering me on, loyal fans. Well then, what does our challenger get for beating me? The lean, mean, streaming queen. I'll tell you, Maxwell, you win a gym badge. Woo to the who. Screen cap this quick. This will be a shot you'll want to save in your brain spaces forever. <laughs> I love my guy's pose. LaVincia Jim defeated. That is awesome. By the Bizies. With three gym badges, Pokey Pals of up to level 35 will be easier to catch and they'll listen to you. Nice. I'm also going to give you a TM. I got Volt Switch, number 48. Pretty good. Ooh, that looks nice. If any of you found our electrifying battle to be shocking, go smash that subscribe button. Your eyeballs are mine. Caught in the electroweb. What is it? 
Iono, the supercharged streamer. Catch you later. Boy, she's fun. Pardon me? Hello. You just defeated the gym leader, yes? Ma, your name is Maxwell, if I recall. Do you seek to become a champion? Yes. Just what I hope to hear? You have a rare talent, especially for your age. Aim high. Greater heights are within your reach. I got ahead of myself. I am Gita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League, the organizer that runs these gyms. You seem to be collecting gym badges. I suspect we'll meet again down the line. Until then, good day to you. All right, Gita. All right, let's take a look at what we've accomplished today. We now have in Victory Road three out of the eight gym badges. And last video, we took out two of the Titan Pokemon in the Path of Legends. We are well on our way to really getting good. Next video, Starfall Street. We're going to finally take on some of the Team Star bases. Really excited about that. But the bigger question is, will Magnemite ever get enough health not to be just a joke? Stay tuned. All these questions and less will be answered next video. Hey, thanks for joining us today. This was a lot of fun, and it was more of a fight than I thought we'd see today. All right, appreciate you watching. If you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, hey, I'd really appreciate it. Hey, but more importantly, hope you have a good day.